adjustments. They're not going to try and play the same game over again and let Mad Lions win the same way. And those adjustments clearly worked. It looked a little dicey there towards the end of the, of the uh, second half. But they got it. And this is, again, very quick coming in here from Fnatic, at least into Banana early, and they eat a lot of HE damage. But now they've still got all five players alive here, Fnatic, and they have the nades for an execute. I mean, all they need is the kill on Hooksy, and, and, it, and it's bad news for, uh, for Mad Lions. Could it be falling back? He does have a smoke. I, I mean, that smoke has to be really early because, yeah, he has to throw it down now. If he throws it down when they're close to it, they're just going to run through. They won't respect it. So that is something you usually do later on. But in pistol rounds, you can actually, you can you can just say, whatever, man, I'm just going to come. Oh, they're going to grenade oh, it. Do they have the do double it, name? Do it. Well, they're a little bit further behind. I thought maybe they're going to do go. it. There's the one for the coffins. It will uh, at least connect, but I thought it was going to be two. Oh, and Hooksy, that's really well done. Now it's time to just stay back. He's going to get a third one. So for all of the tricks that the Swedes brought to this round, it's not looking like it's going to be enough. They're retaking two from Construction and CT Spawn and two from Banana. And, I mean, it can be one, but, man, it is going to be tricky here for Golden and Crims. That's going to be so hard. Almost impossible. 2v4, full HP. Unless Golden starts clicking away and getting headshots at that USB, he takes one with him. So it's Crims in a 1v3. He's spotted. They know where he is. And Acor comes in with the headshot. I am so sad they didn't go for the double HE. I thought that that was going to be the play there. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me as well. But um, I guess not. I guess one was what, what they yeah. wanted to go for there. Just, um, I mean... There is like the way the Fnatic generally have been playing, you know, they look like a really good team at the moment, but also just the, the huge X factor of Hooksy and Refresh on this lineup is just, you know, like who knows how that is going to be playing out, you know, long term. So mm -hmm. so I think, you know, there are, there are I think, a couple of different good reasons to, to go with Fnatic on this particular one. Uh, it's, it's crazy to go back again and look at how many 2v2s were won by Fnatic on, on that Vertigo map that, you know, where, where again, Ends up 16-14, but man, it's you replay that again, and, and there's a good chance that Mad Lions end up taking it, and then we're in you know in a strange space. Well, full nades into Banana here. All three players for Mad Lions fully committing to that as well, and so we will get uh, no damage done to Fnatic. Fnatic were perfectly content to just sit and wait out the bombardment early on in the round, and so Mad Lions pick up the pistol, 1-0 lead, but this is a four spy from Fnatic. Two AKs dropped, three Deagles, and two players rocking full nades. So they've got options here, Fnatic. And if they catch Hooksy getting greedy here, uh, things can get out of control on B very early on. It, does he fall for this? Do they peek together with the, uh, with the AKs? That'd be really cool. Hooksy going to back off, and, well, there's the smoke getting forced out at least, and it's at a minute... So there's still a lot of room uh, to uh, maneuver here for Fnatic. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, he just he just has to stay alive, basically. He's going to get in some backup. He's going to get one kill there. I'm going to catch him. Oh, it looked like there was a chance there with the AK. He's brought in Roy, who's now used the second smoke at about 46 seconds. And they're bringing in a third member, who does not have a smoke, unfortunately. Uh, but a flashbang, I mean, yeah, they're in a good position nonetheless here, Mad Lions, to try and hold this back. And now that they're pushing up and actually confirming for the rest of the map that Fnatic aren't swinging back and aren't about to suddenly go for it, it's going to get real interesting here. They're trying to get through one good flashbang. Could do it. Roy still not really putting his out. There's finally one, and he's going to get just the one kill, but this is a pretty decent trade for Fnatic right now. Suddenly a three-on-three. Three. Refresh on the other side. He's going to be flashed through. Oh, he can't stop the bomb. That is huge. Flush up. Surviving that spray as well. And with three rifles now. Flash is there, and Brolan somehow gets that kill. Unreal. Leaves Shush alone in a 1v3, and just like that, Fnatic have slow walked their way onto the B site, opened it up off of the AKs, and now they will survive this round with three, two AKs, and both AKs survive, and the M4. Very, I'd love to see... I think they hit a crazy timing there, Fnatic, where essentially... I think Refresh was relocating through construction, uh -huh. so he couldn't do anything to help out. Like, as soon as Hooksy went down, it was it was just Roy alone with an MP9. So it might as well have just been two players on yes. B. Yes, I think, I, I'm, a, I'm not 100% sure, but I think something like that happened, so that's also just very bad cool. luck. Yeah, very cool, bad luck, depending. I mean, that, that's, that's just filthy, Hooksy. Like, they get that kill, and it's, yeah, it's just Roy. I mean, at that point in time, I think Refresh is moving around, so. That save is just gross. You're definitely thinking that the, that bomb plant's going to get denied. But no, and it is still going to be an anti-eco. Well, it's a force by coming in now from Mad Lions, but just pistols, that 1M4. 
that was saved. AG just dusts them. Barely get out in time. Barely avoid taking massive damage to their mad lines. Such a great start for Fnatic because the the thing that can make the T side a bit tricky on this map is when the CTs get all of the you know Molotovs and smokes and everything. So you've already just delayed that a fair bit. The other problem is having someone like Acor with the AWP, and you've also delayed that by winning the second round. So some different, uh, I think, different levels of success early on here for the Swedish side, just in terms of of denying them that early run. And now. Sort of shuffling back uh, back and forth across the map here, Mad Lions. They're going to get somewhat towards the A-bomb site, but it doesn't look like a very strong setup at all. Do we get a flash? Yep. No? Where's the flash? So far, just the smoke. That JW, weird. happy to wait inside. Refresh. He's going to respect it. Turning the corner into Shush and that M4. That's a good trade for JW. Really important here. There are a lot more people coming closer now, but Musher again saving the day, and he's going to get the kill on refresh as well. It's not bad at all. Acor down here with the Deagle, but Flush is going to show up and shoot him right in the back. So a two on one, and Flusher's on one health. So a bit of a scary round here for Fnatic, but I still think, I mean, how is Roy going to be doing this with no kit currently? Don't know if the, yeah, there's one on the ground at least. He could pick that up, but he hasn't. Find some firepower here. That gun drop, yep, going to give away his position, and he could be in a position where he just wants to save this M4 for the next round. That wouldn't be a crazy thought. Oh, flush it. Is he going to find him? He will now because he picked up the kit as well. It's probably going to be super tempting to do it. Crims is right there with the Haycon. Has all the advantage in the world, and he'll get the kill as well. I mean, that is... There's a lot of angles to look for. So, fair play. He wanted to do it, but um, hmm. didn't really work out. Yeah, Flusher giving himself that way, I think, is what does it. Otherwise, I think he's just going to back off and save the M4 for the next round. Yeah, I think you're right. But uh, this is uh, two to one for Fnatic on the seaside of Inferno now. And another round of Eco coming up here for Mad Lions. That is, a I mean, again, that's a ridiculously close round um, that they could have very, very easily lost Fnatic over there at the arch. That was bordering on being out of control. I get Flusher, what, he survived to get the third kill on Acor there with one health. Mm. So... Well, I mean, Mad Lions get. and Fnatic have played recently. Mad Lions won that in upset fashion, uh, two to one. But it also involved Refresh, I think, dropping seventy something frags right. across the three maps. So, well, then they had the roadmap right in front of them. Yeah, you know, they know just, what to do. <laughs> just get a just uh, just get a crazy <clears throat> star performance out of one of your players, exactly. and that'll be enough to turn it around. I like this stack a lot because it's so silly. I have seen it work. But I don't think I've seen a, a round being won behind it, but sometimes you can get like a, a freaky kill. They're all lined up. <laughs> Again, I think Fnatic just don't even care. They're like, yeah, cool guys. <laughs> if that makes you happy, you can you can have that one Mac ten. Uh, I still like it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up on it. And Acor's over here alone in pit. He can't be the guy. He can be the one to ruin it. Do they check? So far, they're not checking. There it is. All right, Flushy gets the kill. So, Hooksy and Shush, yeah, you, they've got a MAC-10. Super cool. Uh, going to be overjoyed on there. Yeah, they're really going to love it. Uh, a little bit of a spot. Shush getting uh, tagged up. Crim's checking to make sure that they are not getting flanked. And, well, they are right now Mad Lions trying to put themselves in positions to catch Fnatic as they get out of the bomb site. But with the bomb planted on that, the positioning of the bomb plant means that uh, Fnatic, you know, they can be pretty much anywhere. They're not too worried about uh, about dying here. Definitely not. Yeah, this would have to be just some some weird timing for Hoxie. Oh. Yeah, he could try and but again, he doesn't have well, yeah, he doesn't have armor, so he's going to be dead so quick when he turns this corner. Does actually get the kill on Flusher. That's and he doesn't even go down. He just thought it dies to the bomb. That's so strange. <laughs> How did Flusher die so quickly? I don't low? know. How did he die? Do, can we get that on replay? Yeah, okay, he's I mean, already low. was low, but... 37, yeah, that's that's the okay, reason. Okay, that explains it. Fair play. 3 to 1. The so, one guy. Yeah, well... It all helps at the end. Yeah, it's just the one... Literally the one guy that he can kill with that MAC-10, he happens to shoot at. Stumble so. into, yeah. Uh, well, sometimes that's the way it goes. 3 to 1. Fnatic on the T-side looking good. Healthy in the lead. And this will be a buy round for Mad Lions, but they're very light on grenades. So the anti-nades and banana is going to give Fnatic a, quite a bit of room to work with. You can see you know, Fnatic also holding on some nades, at least until later into it. Uh, this is going to be, br well, brutal. Yep. 
Refresh, oh man, it's so perfect. Refresh gets that kill, so they have no idea that Shush is here. Still traded one for one. Yeah, I, you would have definitely assumed that that would have been way more of a spray down. That leaves a lot of problems here for Hooksy. Tapping away, but he needs backup pretty quickly, and he's also worried about that. Oh, well, that's a nice job on him, though. He actually gets out from that corner. Again, grenades and everything else could have followed. He's going to go down to Golden eventually, but the move itself is definitely pretty great. Roy will take down a kill, and now it's on Flusher. One versus two, and this is again where you'd want to see Mad Lions take that deep breath and make sure you work together. They have a Molotov as well. Flusher, he's going to have to go for the swing, surely. He can't just wait back here. A little bit of a fight, but Acor takes him down. Look at how much damage he did, Flusher. He nearly had that kill and the Molotov on top, I mean, that could have been incredible. Chaos round, man. Absolutely chaotic. Yeah, that's, I mean, that is a, a coin flip round that just kind of turned from, I don't know, like, these rounds are so close, it's hard to say. But, I mean, yeah, man, it's just, it's, it's, that's such an important round for Mad Lions to win. Because if they don't win it, I mean, it's just another, well, half by kind of scenario for them. Fnatic will just run away with the first half very early on. They'll get so many rounds on the board so early in the half that, uh, Life is going to just be really grim for Mad Lions, so Mad Lions absolutely had to win this round, and they did it barely what? by the skin of their teeth. When you watch that replay again between Refresh and Shush, you... I don't know. It looks like Acor got headshot, so he probably got wallbang headshot there. Yeah, I think he you did. Know, headshot through the box, so that just sucks for Plusha. But that, that setup over at Arch between Refresh and Shush, you look at that again, you think, that's not good enough. That has to be better, basically. Plusha. <laughs> well, okay. Not welcome. <laughs> Yeah, that was brutal. Trade nades and everything. I mean, it was still just a MAC-10, so not like they lost a rifle or anything, but Fnatic, once again, down a man. JW currently scratching his head wondering, hey, aren't I the one who's supposed to die first? Uh, what do I do now that I'm alive in the round still? They know that there's two people on Banana because they just heard both the two HEs, mm -hmm. so maybe they want to try and take a little bit of advantage now. Last guy's being pulled over, so it's going to be a 4-1 setup. At least it looks like it for the minute here. Turning the corner of the ward. Arch and Refresh is hearing all of this. Great shot from GAW to take down Acor. And yeah, they've got some Arch coverage here, but I mean, yeah, they're going to be forced forward. Take the big swing. And it's going to be Golden going down right afterwards. Two versus three, but this is still winnable for Fnatic. Nice shot from Shush, and actually almost could have had that one on JW. And in fact, he will down from the pit. Nice triple from him. I don't know. Again, some, some of these rounds just look so close to me. Even, in, even if Mad Lions win this one with three alive, I still get nervous. What brilliant work for Mad Lions. Hey, that was flush. I was just kind of, you know, that sucks. But this, going out before this smoke is able to bloom, just pulling a fast one there, hopefully before the guy has his rifle out, right? It's just all these little details that are coming through, and Mad Lions right now, they are playing so well. Three on three. They've tied it up three to three. And Mad Lions on the CT side, fully bought up now. And Fnatic having to go for the eco. So... Right now, name of the game here for Fnatic is to get that bomb plant. Broland's going to get caught by Refresh. That's what we expect to see. JW just barely makes it around the corner, but he's only got a Glock, so he's not that much of a threat. Yeah, he's out on, a, on an adventure somewhere. He's just out looking. See, almost time to catch Refresh there. Could have been fun. But, um, yeah, it's hard for JW to have a big effect on this round when he's, when he's in library with a Glock and has already been tagged up. Good timing as Golden goes down. Some money being made by Refresh now. And three versus five. And yeah, I don't know. Again, every little bit matters here. A kill with a Deagle, anything like that. It's all going to count towards the end of the uh, the half. Blowing up the furniture now. Vandals. No respect. Dude, JW has just become the guy who's the, it's just impossible to kill. Finally, yeah. Hooksy catches him. What's going on? And the bomb is uh, nowhere near anything right now, so uh, they need to just die, Fnatic, at this point. 34 seconds on the clock. Hopefully they take somebody with them. Krim's going to get caught, and this should be a flush. Yep, getting caught in the open. Nice swing from Roy. And that is going to be a fourth round on the board for Mad Lions on the CT side. Right. I mean, that's that makes it a, a bit more comfortable for them. Now they're at least in that zone where they can lose a round and they can still buy, and it's not, it's not quite as dramatic all of a sudden. Just weird seeing no bomb plant from Fnatic. You'd think that they would have something just in their pocket to get a bomb plant, right? It's, hard, it's so hard on Inferno, though, when you have pistols, right? You need, need, I feel like you need something else. I mean, half-buy, yeah. If they'd gone for the half-buy, I think they would have been able to. 
All right, aggression down middle. CT side now trying to throw this one for a bit of a loop. But look at how Fnatic has set up. They are ready and waiting. That was a great counterplay. Very important that Aqua actually gets that kill because otherwise they'd be a man down. And yeah, time to back on out. He's low on health. And left in the middle is Refresh, just thinking, well, I guess I'll just hang out here, guys. Oh, dude, that HE on the flush up. Brutal. Refresh is just a split second too late there. But now they're going to be one on top of the other. Do they check this angle? <gasps> Refresh, He's as he back. comes up, might not see this. Oh, he does barely spot it. Golden's going to take a bullet to the face. Oh, and he swapped out the gun too soon. He wanted the, it would have been better probably. I mean, who knows? <laughs> this is just adding to the list of mad rounds. What a nice shot. A call. Headshot wasn't needed, but it doesn't really matter. JW will take it anyway. And now making the jump down behind his own flashbang. Hooksy taking the fight and winning it. That's a nice win as well. Now they're low on health on that T side, but they have 50 seconds and push down all the way to the bottom of Banana. It's going to be Roy hiding in that corner. This needs to be a straight instant headshot. And yeah, he's just not looking the wrong way. I mean, it's not really Flush's fault, is it? Yep. Brolin one versus two. There's no way, right? At that point, Brolin with the full set of nades, but unfortunately for him, Hooksy has maneuvered himself right beneath him. And there's no way for him to get down from here without... Uh... Oh, oh. Oh, just barely makes it. Still, if he stands up, Hooksy, if he looks the other way, it's it's over. He's got no idea where to look, and now the smoke is up. Yeah, he's going to get shot in the back. Wow, I mean, again, I don't know. I'm not envying the analysts at the moment that have to try and go through a round like this. Best of luck, friends. It's, it's There's a lot going on. Still unclear. Yeah, okay, now we're going to get a time alcohol by Fnatic. Like, Acor should be counting his lucky stars that he survives this round. He should have been traded as well by Golden. Yeah. But then Refresh moving all the way down mid like this, it's just all over the place. But it feels like uh, the gods want Mad Lions to take the lead in this uh, first half. All the chaos and Mad Lions are the ones coming out ahead. So 5-3 to three on the CT side. And JW just not super pleased because uh, obviously that's a duel that he should be winning against Hooksy. Hooksy's up I into double digits now. I would have bet money on that, especially Hooksy's performance on on uh, on Vertigo wasn't really that inspiring at all. So, uh, yeah, I would have picked JW for that victory as well. Mm -hmm. Well, AK long range, right, versus M4. But then Hooksy hits two headshots and JW hits none. So, get wrecked, son. The Eagles across the board for Fnatic. No nades, interestingly enough. Again, the early emphasis here on Banana with three people showing up, which... I mean, there's no way for Fnatic to know that apart from watching demos, which they obviously have. I wonder if they would, at one point would try and go really quick towards A if they feel like that's an option. Because again, I'm sure they've done the research. Maybe the thought process now. I mean, they haven't seen anybody mid. So now it's going to be, but this is it. You know, after those early nades, you just cheat two players over towards A and now you've got four players on A if you miss that window. So Fnatic... A little bit too late to the party here, are about to get blasted. Yeah, though right now the A defense is looking just fine. But yeah, I mean, I, it would be fun to see them try and exploit that in a round. It's, it's not like they can know necessarily in any given round. I mean, it's it's going to be, but, you know, sometimes you do just have to try and get that timing down and, and you know, hope that you, you've, you've picked the right round for it. So, don't know if they're feeling that desperate yet. We'll find out. They are a little bit behind on kills. Not not maybe a terrible amount, but uh would be cool to see Brolan up there. He's two and six right now. Could definitely need his just raw output in this game. Flash the way. Oh, that is a blind shot. He didn't, he could see nothing at all. He still picks it up. Now it's dangerous. Now it's actually really dangerous. Roy with a good kill. 20 seconds on the clock and still down in the pit is Shush just waiting around. But they're going to take down Roy and Shush has to buy time here. He's out in the open. He nearly gets the triple spray down. And now there's 10 seconds for a 2 on 2 Do this bomb plant. Nuts that he gets in there. Smoke clears. JW caught in the open. And so it's all on Krams. 1v2. Tries to come over the top. And he does win that duel. The timing is all here. And he gets... What happens? He gets caught on something? I am not sure. It definitely looked like there was something strange going on. What was that? What was up with his aim? I don't know. It's not going to get better now that he's being teabagged. You know. And shot in the face. That was just the weirdest thing. Can we see that swap at the end there? This I mean, that was just lucky. So hard, isn't it? Look at what happens behind that one 
you know, one happy accident. I don't know. Yeah, he was just kind of facing. I guess he just admitted that he knew that he was dead at that point, but... No, I think surely his, huh. mouse, his mouse got stuck on something or something. That is just the weirdest thing. It I hope must it doesn't tilt. Been. That's so frustrating. Wow. Six to three. I, yeah, maybe we can do some investigation and find out what happened to Crims, because that was definitely, definitely something. Little grenade there on Flusher. He's going to soft him in a little bit. And... Yeah, everyone's backing off of Banana for a second, not really being super aggressive at the moment. But yeah, standard stuff right now for Fnatic, right? Taking over Banana, taking over second mid and apartments over the A side. This is all what you want to do, whether or not you're going A or B, it's just a good idea. This kind of just feels like old uh, Inferno now, all of a sudden. In terms of CTT, yeah. yeah, maybe. In terms of the CTT interaction. I think it could change real quick. Mm -hmm. Well, five rounds in a row, four Mad Lions, and so Fnatic are maxed out on loss bonus. This is where the fun begins as far as they're concerned. How are they calling this? Fun? Like Mad Lions, I'm s I am actually shocked. Three and B at 45 seconds, with the other two being in pit, meaning if they go for one of those arch ramps, those two people in pit are probably dead really quickly. But this... Could get really interesting. Here comes the execute for the Fnatic side. 35 seconds. The bomb, though, is in middle, so it looks like a fake at the moment. Fnatic might actually be completely outplaying them. The only problem now, though, is time, because they've left 25 seconds. If these two pit players don't immediately die, if each of them stay alive for five seconds, that's a disaster. Shush showing up, getting a little bit refresh, even blinded. Shush is there again. Oh, no, Fnatic. They need to find a way through, but it's only 15 seconds, and JW, he's got no shot. Unbelievable. They actually had a great call. I mean, never mind that there were three in B, but just they kept those three people in the B bomb site forever. And then it just happens that Shush and, uh, and Refresh down there will not go down. Yeah. A side Inferno is just, there's so many angles. So if you're late and you don't have time to check everything, you don't have mollies for pit for that position in pit that Shush is playing from, for example. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why you molly that almost every time or force them to cancel out with the smoke. It's just, you gotta, you can't let that guy just sit there and play around Broken Wall. It's just nightmare fuel to get rid of them. Uh, yeah. So you can see it looks like uh, Mad Lions on location together. Saw a little bit of Peacemaker there in the background. That's six rounds in a row now for Mad Lions on the CT side of Inferno. Seven to three the score. Fnatic trying to change the pace up, but Flush are going to die early again. Flush are really you know, holding the short end of the stick here in Banana. Shush there with a save. Huge double. Turns it into a triple because why not? A lot of variance in the way that Mad Lions are approaching this banana. I mean, you could almost like, like you can make essentially, I think, uh, a Mad Lions compilation clip of the first 10 or 11 rounds here, and you'd, you'd see just how different it was every time. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes double nading, sometimes, you know, Molotovs in the middle, sometimes they don't even really touch it, and this time, grenade and then the foot push instant spray through the smoke. It's just a lot of different stuff that they've pulled out, which is making it a bit harder for Fnatic to... Um, to really read the pattern. Sure, sure, the triple kill, yeah. JW. Uh, long time to be saving a gun, and they're already out looking for him everywhere. Yeah, he's trying to should. bait some kind of response. <laughs> oh, yeah, now he's going to get boxed in. He is fully boxed, nowhere to go. They're going to be right on top of him with five alive. There's absolutely no reason not to charge this guy down and take this gun away. And uh, he goes down with a whimper, Anders. Eight to three. I mean, this is a, a seven-round uh, streak that they're, they're working on right now, and really only two out of those seven rounds have been bomb plants for Fnatic. The rest, they've all died or run out of time. And uh, well, last round, where previous round, where JW was saving the AWP. That's, that's a bit concerning. A little, I mean, I'm not, I'm not in full-fledged panic mode for Fnatic yet, but uh, I'm getting a little bit worried for them. I think you can, you can be a little bit worried. Yeah, just, just mild, you know. Starting to starting to flare up a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's feeling very lackluster. It's a lot of running into bomb sites one at a time. We're not really seeing the swarm here that hive mind. So uh, we've also seen a lot of like Flusha just dying early alone, and so putting him down, a man fanatic. Uh, it's been a lot of struggle. So kind of curious to see what they do in this next round because this is still going to be a half buy from them. Kevlar Deagle pistols. I mean, with some nades. 
So they're still dangerous, Fnatic. But it doesn't really feel like they have an answer for Banana. No, there's definitely, I mean, well, some of what they tried, right, was putting Flusher in really early to, to knock mm -hmm. someone out with and a max We've just seen him die twice, so I mean. Yeah, that's sort of the issue, right? But but I still think that I, that idea at least has some some sense behind it, because when I mean, you can do that sometimes, and, and if you do, then it, it is a luxury in that round, and you can try and build behind it. Sure. Ooh, they're so quick to rotate B again. It's 50 seconds. All they've seen is one at the bottom of Banana, and already three people here for uh, Mad Lions, so... Yeah, Hooksy being called back. He's got smokes and grenades. A Corp also hitting a couple of shots, except for that one, which is essentially just a steady target. Fair play. Uh, but yeah, all the backup is here, so even if A Corp goes down, there should be no issue at all. They're only going to lose Roy in the round. They've got so much money to work with here. Nine to three, as Mad Lions are now well on their way. I think this is the time. Like now is when I'd want to see Fnatic, you know. Really, like, pull out that strategy that it, they've had 12 rounds so far to figure out what is the tendency, how does this work, how are they defending, is there anything we can exploit right now? Well, then now let's try try and do that. And again, it seems to me like faster A is still the most obvious one. It's just I don't know if they if they will have known that. It's easy for easy for us to see, but yeah, we do also have a minimap that shows everyone. So because Mad Lions have gone right back into their default here. Acor drawing attention to himself towards A, but again, smoke bottom banana, Molotov at top of banana and at bottom of banana, it leaves that gap. But then with that gap, you have the HEs and you have the peak. So Mad Lions have really figured out their protocol here for taking banana control early. And clearly Fnatic don't have an answer. They just, they're just like, all right, you can have that. We're actually just gonna save all of our nades. They've used one nade so far uh, in, this, uh, in this round. There's a second one getting used. So I mean, hmm. Yeah. Now, Fnatic, at least they have nade superiority. They need to just do something with it. Oh, it's very, very helpful for sure that they that they have all of this. Oops, he's actually taking damage. A grenade on top, that's going to be almost lethal. Yeah, he's lucky to make it out and only just barely around the corner when the bullets chase him. That could have been a nice op opening kill. So, banana control should now... I mean, Roy's going to be up there, but he shouldn't be sticking around. Yeah, he's just... Just there to try and be there as long as possible. He's still back here. This is mental. He's flashed in. He's done. he's gonna get a kill. He will see a few more people, and they still have two in the bomb site. It won't be easy to hold. They're out of grenades, except for flashbangs here on the Mad Lion side. This shouldn't be a, a hold that they could do at all. 30 seconds left, but Fnatic, one kill should do it. Hooksy's going to be going down. I'll refresh back here. No one's checking it, and he's going to go stop the bomb from being planted. But there's still 20 seconds, and that's the problem Yeah, Even with that kill, it's just not quite enough. 17 seconds, and this time, the bomb is going to be planted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Brolan spotted him in CT as well. No reason for him to peek again. No reason to make it easy, as Shush is now going to work his way through construction, trying to get eyes on the back of this site. And there it is, Shush will catch Brawlan looking. Acor now. Flush has got the angle on him, but he is just going to charge in. The flash! Impeccable stuff! Wow. The flash goes off in Flush's face, and he is completely blind when Acor comes around the corner. Double digits. They made that look so smooth, that retake. That Yeah, that was clinical, dude. That was beautiful. So much money for Mad Lions as well in the bank. I, the last two rounds of this half are just going to be brutal for Fnatic. And how discouraging is that for Fnatic, where you're just, yeah, okay, we got the bomb planted. And then you just get picked off one after the other in this retake. I, it, is, it is also a tough break. I mean, how are you supposed to expect there to be three guys on B? Yeah, that's. I mean, that is essentially the problem, right? The math is checked out in Fnatic's mind. They think, great, fine, whatever. Yeah, we, we killed two. Good. We've got the two, but um, this time it's three on A, and it's it's aggressive. A three-man take of the A apartments, which is sort of a rarity, but it's definitely been done before, and it can work out really well. Not for A call. He's going to get caught. Nice pickoff from JW, and now he's pushing forward again. Just the space that he's creating right now, catching people rotating in. This is amazing play, and now that Shush is down as well, it's it's a step away from Fnatic finally picking up that fourth round. <gasps> That's a problem, though. That's a bigger problem. How is this happening? Mm. Well, they realize because it's been so aggressive that uh, then they've killed the pit player. Shush is dead. So Fnatic just go charging right into the site, and now they've got the post-plant positions, and this is going to be difficult here for Mad Lions. I mean, it, it still will be. You're absolutely right, but it should have never even been close. So the fact that it's even a three on three has got me just a tiny bit worried. Mad Lions might as well go for it, I think, because they have so much money that you know, just try and see if you can if you can do this. 
They have the kits and everything else. A lot of uh, smokes being exchanged over by the library. Crims tapping away, but not really connecting. And out of the apartments behind him soon, it's going to be refreshed. Oh, Brolin catching him. That's a huge kill. And suddenly, Hooksy, one versus two. And he's sort of a little bit in a weird position. He's going to get that one, nearly getting it. But Crims will take him down. So, a fourth round for Fnatic. But again, even that one, that was a three on five that they almost gave away. So expensive for Fnatic. And Matt, you're 100% right because Matt Lines had so much money for them. Every gun they take off of Fnatic is a win. And if they win the round, awesome. You know, that's just icing on the cake. But every gun they take away, look at this buy now that Fnatic have to put together. They got to go for a MAC-10 on Golden, a Galil on Flusha just so he can afford some nades. And even Brolan can't afford a full set, right? Brolan, actually, speaking of which, I mean, dude, to be fair, he's not alone. Flush on JW. Flush on JW and Brolan, six kills each. Yeah. They're just not killing anything, Fnatic. They're, they're really struggling. Oh. oh, the nades. Again, running into this brutal nade opening in Banana. But this is fire everywhere. Going for the fight and Flusher, I mean, it looked like he had a bit of an opportunity, but yeah, this, this Banana situation for Mad Lions, that's got to get... Uh, I'm sure Maui's got at least one or two buttons on button at the moment. Like, this, this, <laughs> this is, this is yeah. great. It's going to be it's gonna be a bit steamy in that green room. We haven't managed to put up the poll yet, but but there's still time. Fifteenth <laughs> round and looking very much like an eleven to four first half here in favor of Mad Lions, which again, you know, Fnatic really good at Inferno generally speaking, but right now they have not really made that super evident to everyone else. Flash is in, Acor getting the kill and also spotting it out. They line up for Shush and it will be 11-4 at the end of it. Shush at 18 and 7, Hooksy at 16 and 7. Those were the two worst performing players on Vertigo all throughout that map. So nice turnaround for them individually as well. Wow, um, that's, a, that's a strange and interesting turnaround. Um, second half is going to be coming up and we'll see if Fnatic can find a way to get back into this in some fashion and finish it 2-0. If not, it's going to go to overpass. So stay tuned and we'll be right back.
And we're back yet again. It's the second map. It's the second half of this best of three here at Flashpoint 2. It's between Fnatic and Mad Lions. And everyone pretty much thought that Mad Lions were probably going to get wiped out on this map, seeing as how just how good Fnatic are on it. So far, much evidence to the contrary. It's 11-4 in their favor, and Fnatic need to win this pistol and a lot more. Mm, so much room, and there is JW getting spotted. Looking for the peak, thought he would take a lot more damage from there, and it is just the head-on-head -head fight. It does not hit a single bullet on Shush. So Mad Lions, I mean, even in the duels, they're winning, Anders. Yeah, right now, Shush, I mean, Shush has really been the, the main engine for a lot of that first half. But also that banana control that they were having on the CT side was really quite uh, spectacular. Again, I'd love to see just, you know... Like three seconds of each round on banana, just boop, 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 like you know, all mm -hmm. in, all in one long go. That would be really interesting because that it just played out a, a bunch of different ways. Smoke on golden and a diffuse kit, but otherwise it is just uh, you know brute force here for the fanatic side in terms of the weapons. And um, yeah, they've just they've locked themselves in on banana, which I, again this is great. I love this from fanatic. They're actually taking full advantage of this, pushing up behind them. The flank is going to be quicker. The Roy is also looking for it. He's turning around, just throwing the smoke. Is he going to check again? JW just needs a kill, and there it is. That's huge. Now, yeah, they might as well commit. Every, the game is up right now. They know what's coming. Crim's going to pick up one kill. Nice headshot on refresh midair. And Fnatic, a great read so far in this round. But they're sure shutting down JW on the flank, so they know the banana's clear now. Fnatic it is going to be Brolan. He's holding at CT. The smoke clears. The fight goes in, and it is big, but Crims pulls ahead. Quad kill for Crims in the pistol round. JW took away the ace, but they got the pistol, and that's what Fnatic really cared about here going into the second half. They needed to start strong and get that CT side rolling. Yeah, Ooh, that got scary a little bit at the end. But yeah, this is so smart, right? Exactly what just happened to Mad Lions is one of the reasons why people don't Generally, in, in regular rounds, just camp out on Banana forever because, mm. again, if the CTs find out, yeah, you're going to be in trouble. So I really, really enjoyed that. And the spots, there it is. And this is still second mid. Mad Lions ready to go through. Ready to pounce on this A site, and they are grouping up as five to do it as well. But it's going to be quickly into apartments. And what are we setting up here for? I'm ass assuming just smoke and flash from middle. Who? Mm -hmm. He's got double flash, so I think he's just gonna, just gonna go for it. I thought actually they'd put more people up through the apps and not down here through boiler, but we'll see if it works. Good counter Molotov. A double grenade down there will take care of Roland. JW Crimson Golden though standing tall on the rest of it, so that's a good recovery. That actually was a pretty good hit for Mad mm -hmm. Lions, but Fnatic just proving better. Crims was so fast with that flick. It had to be an instant kill. And now we'll refresh Jiggle Peaks. Gonna spot Crims. Easy shot. And even has the edge on JW as well. Bomb, however, is stuck in apartments, and so it needs to make its way down to the pit and not gonna happen. JW gonna find that shot all day long. And JW collects three kills in the round. So six to eleven now, Fnatic. Managing to chain those two rounds. They survive the force by coming in from Mad Lions. And Mad Lions without a bomb plant, they should be going for a hard eco here into this round. But yeah, that felt like a very like that. There's there are the nades to broken wall that we weren't seeing Fnatic use against Shush, but yeah. you know Mad Lions were like, yeah, nah, we're not gonna let anybody camp there. Double HE, just nuke it, and we saw how effective that is. That worked out, you know, really, really well. I'm impressed that Fnatic held that round so well. I thought, I thought it looked like they could have got completely caught in the in the madness there. Uh, friendly team grenade, <laughs> yeah, so. So you just good. have to make life. <laughs> that wasn't a friendly nade at all. <laughs> that was mental. Here we go. Flusher just cleaning it up. It's a good, it's a good job. Flusher and Golden sharing the, uh, the kills out there. 7 to 11. So, you know, much closer all of a sudden. Yeah, um, now we get to see. But uh, it'll. I'm, I'm so curious to see how this will play out. They're actually they're holding on to so many of these SMGs. Mm, it not a great. huge fan of this. Can you please throw one of them away? JW, just chuck the Mac-10. Listen, it could be amazing. Could backfire yeah, horribly. This is such an important round. Four on this on this banana defense. Four people. I mean, they're leaving Brolin alone on A. 
interesting. This has got to be tendencies. This has got to be a read from Fnatic like that. We've played them before. We know they like to do this. This is going to be the call, and Golden's going to get the drop on Hooksy. It's not even valuable information gained. I mean, this is just so big because now it's a man advantage for Fnatic. We've already got the rotation from Crims back over here towards A, and JW even making his way over to cover Arch. Yeah, especially when you're in a four and five, it, it now it makes perfect sense to just go for the default because you're you're going to be in a in a good position. Yeah, very very interesting. Again, there's no way for Madlines to know that there is that timing window at the A bomb site. So, essentially, Fnatic just in in a slightly exaggerated way exploiting the same uh, tendency that they themselves you know took use of when they went for the three two mm. over towards B. But this one just just looked very extreme, didn't it? But they don't have any information. I mean, JW's cleared mid. Cool. And it's looking like he's going to rotate back over towards B. And this, they might be able to get there in time to help. As the nade is going to come through, there's the first smoke. There's the HE follow-up. This has got to be the signal to go here. JW's going to have to haul ass to get into position. And well, there's Flush. It goes right through the smoke. Picks up one. Roy going to be there to save his teammate. And Roy making all the difference. Just too many bodies here for Mad Lions. Oh, Grims is so close, though. I, I mean, that was mental. The smoke faded and just t CTs and Ts just completely interlaced inside of it. And yeah, as you said, Roy eventually coming out on top, but God only knows how that could have turned out. Crimson Roland, now is the time to step it up. If you shut this round down, you're going to be suddenly right back in the game. Deep nade there onto Roy, but he will stay alive, and that's such a problem. Would have been nice to get rid of him almost immediately. They do have a kit, but no smokes or anything else already been put up here. And Brolin trying to clear it out. Nice shot on Roy. Shush quick with the return. And I think Crims now, I don't think he could bait this out long enough. I mean, he could try and tap the bomb, but actually he almost takes down both. Wouldn't have uh, won the round, but still. Three people dying hmm. to the bomb. Like it was back at the bot major assembler. Yes. I watching that. This made a huge amount of difference, though. It's the best case scenario for Fnatic because now the Mad Lions have no money in the bank. Ah, uh, this is just so unfortunate with the charge. I'm surprised he didn't go through construction instead of trying to come right through the CT smoke. That was all down to timing. And I mean, Roy, that's just a monster round from Roy. Individual performance saved Mad Lions that time. I think that otherwise they lose that if he doesn't come up with the goods. It definitely uh, looked that way, didn't it? 7 to 12, so a step in the right direction for the Danes. They are they are fighting with their backs against the wall. If they lose this map, they'll never get to that third one on Overpass. I would I would actually really enjoy Overpass with that. I think these teams are playing great Counter-Strike right now, so it's enjoyable. Fnatic, they have one more buy in them, and after this, well, it's going to be downhill quick if they lose this one. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be looking at a third map on Overpass as well. If it's a... Uh, if it Excuse me, comes to it. Hmm. So Fnatic, thankfully for them, they had the first three rounds in the bag, so they will have a buy uh, this round because they didn't upgrade to rifles in the last round. And so because they played games with their economy, they have a chance here still in this round to stop the bleeding. This is Mad Lines with the angle. There's the shot, and what? He puts it between the two of them. I JW misses. That is critical. I'd actually like to see that in slow motion. I can't, can't even really figure out how the, where that bullet went that didn't hit anyone like it surely would have connected with someone but not this time Roland for a peek Crims is over there and he's got JW with him on the towards the library they've actually got a lot of people here drawing four people on the side now there's plenty of time for Madlines to change their minds and that's the one thing Fnatic have to be worried about in this scenario is what if they go back Make well here's the wrap Crims, everyone is blind, but it's a pretty good trade, and the bomb is committed now. It's in Hutch, so now there are no more doubts. You know what's coming next. So, yeah, three versus four. Just get this round, stay alive. Acor doing a bit more damage, picking up an A, well, an AK, but only for a second. Two versus three here, and it's uh, it still should be Fnatic's round. <clears throat> Flash of the rescue. And now, do they realize? Yeah, they realize that the last man is going to be coming over from the B site. Refresh is in here in spawn. Flush up more than aware of this. Checking these angles. Refresh, does he spot him out? He does, but Flusha wins the duel with the UMP long range. And Strength. he saves the AK. It looked like Refresh had all the, uh, all the advantage in the world there. Regardless, very, very important round for Fnatic to win. Let's see. What? What? Don't even know. That was right over his leg, I guess. Yeah, it must have been. 
No bomb plant. In fact, there, there have been, apart from the, the previous round, the one round that they won in Alliance, they've, they've lost four on, on in the second half, and none of them have been with a bomb plant. So they're lacking quite a bit of money. All, all Everything right now is exactly what Fnatic needs to just slowly creep back into the game, and we're not that far away from, mm -hmm. from this just being a complete toss-up. So, yeah. This is old Inferno, Anders. I don't get it. Like, all of a sudden, it's a very CT-sided affair here. Fnatic feel in control, and while Mad Lion's now pretty much a hard eco from them, it's going to be hard pressed to do much, although JW is taking risks. But uh, if you were to look up a definition of JW in the dictionary, there'd be his picture right next to Risk. He's, uh, yeah, happy to do that so very he thrives often. on. 21st round here. And the Every little bit matters, right? A kill on anyone, but they only have the Glocks. But again, like if they could just get a little bit in, it would actually, uh, it would be pretty cool. Golden. It's got some backup and flusher over there. You know, they're, like, they're so safe everywhere. Mad Lions could spend some time to discuss whatever it is they want to discuss, but I don't think they're going to be doing much in this round. So nine to 12 would it be for Fnatic and again, Having a round like this, assuming they don't lose anyone, oh, there's a P250 there, but still, um, it should be enough to, to be really building that bank all of a sudden, and that's that's their insurance policy to make sure that the Danes never get back into it. Good job. Nicely done there, Rebro, on getting two with the MP9. That's what you love to see if you're building bank. That's what it's all about. He's got 6,900 now, so that's uh, AWP whenever the team needs it, and Fnatic actually have a fairly decent economy now. Mad Lions after that round of eco are going to fully commit. And this is it. Surprised to see Mad Lions aren't calling a tactical timeout going into this one. Into this round. Feels like uh, now would be the time to just slow it down a little bit. But uh, it seems like they've got a play. Uh, they've got a plan in mind already. Mm, whereas Fnatic were a little late to pull the trigger. There was. A, it seemed like they weren't quite sure where they had an A or B. And so three early to B, but now that rotation coming out from Krim is back over towards the A site. Nice need! Hooksy refresh, getting down to half HP already. That was definitely worst case scenario for Mad Lions. Yeah, absolutely. Blows them right up. I mean, either Hooksy or Refresh can, can still have an impact on the round here if they get the right end tree frag, but... Um, yeah, it's put them in a weird, a bit of a weird position here. Roy far enough back to where you normally throw the flashes to try and retake uh, Banana if you want to, but he's actually moved up with everyone else. And it looks like they're going to come right through Flusher here. I don't know. It's scary. He's going to make the jump. They're right there. He nearly could have been dead. He still might be there chasing him. Grenades on top, but they can't catch him. He's putting down the smoke behind him, but yeah, they're doing the right thing here. Keep the pressure on. Flusher gets a kill, and he almost could have had a second one there. But yeah, that is the smart call there for Mad Lions. And now the spray battles started here through the smoke. Grenades on top. They get their revenge. Exploding. Golden and Brolin. That is some comic justice. Dude, Roy is such a hero with these B entries. Right, that's unreal. In the key, last key round, he did all the work. This time, he doubles on an HE. Holy smokes, what a round. All right, Fnatic, that is so close. I mean, it's the... So, if you just watch that round again from Flusher's point of view, you could tell that he's jumping, you know, just to get the information the whole time, and then mm -hmm. he takes a step back and just takes a deep breath, and then when he goes back for the jump again, they're just all there waiting for him. Wow. Yeah, that timing is rough when that smoke clears. No, no, this is going to be Fnatic just trying to hold on to these guns. Thing is, Mad Lions can't hunt too hard. They don't have monster cash either. Yeah. And so both teams kind of just, okay, hold on to what you've got. 13 to 9, Mad Lions still in the lead on the T side. But Fnatic are going to be able to get a full buy behind this. And this was at the start. Yeah, look yeah, at this. Just flush this perspective. If he just if he sees them coming through, it's fine. But it's it's this little moment. That's that was the time. The time to get back to that corner and jump. That's what killed him. It was crazy. Is that he still gets a kill out of this? I mean, Flush has yeah. got to be looking at his team, going, "Hey, uh, what else do I have to do here?" <laughs> that he still gets a kill. That's uh, that's absolutely unreal. What a round. Well, we've had a fair few of them that are that are this crazy. Thirteen to nine. It's only a four round lead. The money is still pretty decent for the Fnatic side. So. Way too early to count them out yet. 
I mean, in fact, if you if you just repeat the pattern that we've seen so far with, with Fnatic essentially winning five out of the last seven rounds, if you keep going like that, Fnatic win this map. Mm -hmm. So... It's up to Mad Lions to break the economy and try and find a way to uh, to, to change things up. And JW dialed in, Flusha as well. And this is going to be it, the big round here. Fnatic calling the tactical timeout, figuring out what they need to be doing here, how they need to adjust, and it is going to be back into a bit of a default. Although, as I say that, JW with the run boost. He's now got the angle, though. They, oh, the opportunity was there. Definitely looked like it, didn't it? Back to the banana fight. Oh, that grenade landed right on top of Golden Flush. Is always a bit, always a bit low as well. So, going to be a grenade. It's going to be close, but not quite an exchange. Too soon to tell whether or not this will actually have an effect. But there are no grenades left on Golden and Flusher. That's much more concerning than the health, I think, at the moment. They'd love a, you know, a Molotov, something to s slow down anything that might happen over here. All right, I like this. I like that. That's nice. They weren't quite there on the lineup. One of them caught the edge of the doorway mm -hmm. then. Yeah, weren't quite there on the lineup, but uh, I like the idea. Double HE and, well, Mad Lions, they like that idea so much, they're going to go ahead and pay them a visit. It's looking like this is going to wind up on A, 50 seconds on the clock. And three players ready and waiting here for Fnatic. Can they put a halt to this push? Crims is at that archway corner. Nice counter Molotov coming out from JW, but yeah, Crim's getting caught. He was trying to rotate in front of the smoke, basically. Roland, good position, 30 seconds to get that kill, and the bomb is dropped now in that lane. JW even flashed, or not even flashed in time. He's going to get that kill, 23 seconds, and just rushing through. Shush is there. Brolin still fighting, but he's going to go down eventually. And now suddenly, the health that they're lacking on Golden and Flusher, it's going to make a difference here, or it very well could. They are not that healthy right now. They need instant and clean shots and rotating all the way the back around is Flusher. He's the one with the kit as well in the smoke, so if Golden could just pick up one, maybe there's a chance here. He's so far away. This is taking so much time. It you would can be, see he has to check all these angles. Go ahead. It'd be so worth it if he found someone up here. I'm sure that's what he's hoping, but that's not the case. You gotta go now. If you're gonna do it, you gotta go now. And yeah, that kill there pretty much snuffs it here. Flush is just going to back off. Really fanatic with a whimper. This is how it's going to go. Yeah, I'm. Sh I mean, I'm sure that. Um, I'm sure that Flush is thinking, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll spend almost all of the time in this retake. But if I find the kill, it's two v one, and then then it's worth it, right? It's, a, it's gambling everything on the fact that someone would have their back turned up there. Fourteen to nine, money looking questionable at the moment for the Swedes. They're going to be able to put together a buy, but it will be. Well, the last one that they might have if they throw this away, then surely Mad Lions will find a way to, to get that 16th round as well. Keeping an eye on it, that's Crims, yeah. Just getting caught. Brolin putting his heart into it. Yeah. Trying to fight as best he could. JW, unfortunately, was only able to get the one kill. But this is, uh, this is just round after round. Mad Lions putting the pressure on, and Mad Lions calling the attack timeout now as well. Just really slowing down the pace here. Scary as well. It actually looked like Mad Lions called an attack into the more heavily defended bomb site this time, right? It looks like if they'd gone B, they would have they would have run into two half health players that were all you know stacked up in the corner behind that new box. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's not over yet. Not by any stretch. No, they can still turn this around, but they they need to do it right here. Fresh with some random spray through and golden on the other side. Want to be careful about starting a spray battle with the MP9, although he's doing a fine job. Refresh, not even uh, in a position to try and, and shoot back there, so that worked out really well. Well, very early with this second smoke at bottom banana. Broland, the last one with the smoke on Fnatic. This yeah. is going to give a, a huge amount of the map to Mad Lions to work with now. That actually is a really good point. There's a minute and like there's a minute still, and now Mad Lions are going to start clearing out top mid. Flusha is bold though; he's still taking these fights, banana. And he, he tagged Hooksy 
Nearly took him down. That's rotated golden over now, too. So this is going to get brutal. Mad Lions have set this up. They've made just enough noise over here to keep things honest for Fnatic. But Flush are not spotting anybody. Yep, Golden is going to start hightailing it over here towards the A side. He needs to get here quick. The hit is coming from Mad Lions. Yeah, but I think I think they've actually. I think Mad Lions are mistakenly, but they're hoping for a for a mistake from Fnatic, right? They'd love a peek or something. Um, but yeah, waiting around has just given the Swedes way more of a chance. And they're still checking Banana. They know that no one is there. So now it's just trying to see if you can get it done. That's actually not a bad kill from Shush at all. A bit of a grenade being exchanged. Roy will also take a kill there. Bomb plant could be great, but Crims will say, no thanks, mm -hmm. and take down Roy. So, yeah. Mad Lions just, co I mean, you know, losing that Banana control and being essentially red really well. Nice stuff. And that was also, I mean... That was them being flashed in to take that kill uh, over at uh, over at Banana at the end of it there. To uh, to to it wasn't just them peeking. It was yeah. a nice flashbang to set that up. It was Golden setting it up for Flusher, but this is uh, I mean, yeah, that was so key. Now I'm curious, JW, does he get that op into mid again? It's looking like it. Well, I mean, Mad Lions have to know that they saved the AWP fanatic, so nobody's gonna give it. Oh, never mind, Acor from the pit. Golden here. This is a little bit dangerous. They're on the other side. Oh, <laughs> he makes the jump and takes down Lucy. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Oh, Wait. man. <laughs> what even was that? That is so sick. Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah, they're going to try and do it again. Can they get around the corner. Flusher. This time he's going to get traded and Roy will still go down to Golden. So... Favorable trade for Fnatic, two versus three, and a minute left. This but is no bueno for Mad Lions, though, Anders. Because uh, no bomb plant. If they don't get a bomb plant here, the money is going to be a bit tight. Yeah, I think even if they do get a bomb plant, they're going to be in trouble, aren't they? Don't think it's going to be quite enough to make the difference. So, Golden alone, though. This is the problem, two on three on Inferno, right? You, you don't quite know where they're coming. If Golden goes straight down and just... Then it's just a regular two on two with a with a good chance for a Mad Lions to do something. Being a bit slow about it. Let's see, are they going to check or not? All he needs is a kill. A kill is fine. If he if he dies right afterwards, still a job well done. Smoke goes up. They run past, and there's the spray that they need it. So, absolutely fine. Just that one. Golden. Almost looked like he wanted to sneak through. Acor's on the other side. He's put up a smoke. He's not sure how many people are there. Ten seconds here, and yeah, I don't think he's going to get a bomb plan. He's going to fake it out once. They're trying to come through. He's going to get the spray on one. Nearly lining it up. Four seconds, but he can't actually get the bomb. So now all Brown has to do is stay alive, and he's going to be able to do that. That is a little bit scary, but it's all fine. You can't spray through that wall, so it's all right. 14-11. Fnatic barely Oof. making it out. Man, round after round here. Yeah, that was, dude, Acor is filthy. Yeah, that guy just hits shots sometimes. And this was that sick. jump. This, these fights that are coming in now on Banana for Fnatic, they, they really are challenging Mad Lions. It was Mad Lions just fully controlling Banana in the first half. And Fnatic showing some fight here. Not letting him get it for free. 14 to 11, Mad Lions still oh, here we in go. the lead T side. YOLO? Yeah, they have, I mean, at least for the beginning of it. Now the Molotov is down, they probably have to slow it down, but they would have loved to fight them. That's what, that's what that whole thing was about. Ooh, refresh. Careful, bud. And they haven't fully committed. Look at this, the bomb. Bomb is still here. They've got top banana control now. Do we get an A? Ah, I love these HEs over the top. Not quite doing as much to Acor. They truly are playing battleships now, just yeah. exchanging them over. It's not bad. Uh, now, I mean, okay, you got banana control. This is, uh, you know, check that that box if you're Mad Lions. You've got control of apartments as well. Shush giving you that. Now it's about getting control of top mid, and then you can go anywhere on this map if you're Mad Lions. They do have, uh, of you know, quite a bit to work with. Shush finding JW. He was so far up, uh, a little bit alone there. I mean, I guess not just at the corner, but still. He's going to go down, just the Tech-9 somehow coming out on top. And 40 seconds, they're going to throw a little bit of a fake here, trying to draw someone from the arch. I doubt if Crims is going to be moving. A little bit of noise as well behind. Crims is standing still. That's all you need to look at is that eight, those dots on the A-side, the only thing that matter. Flusher going down again. That's not really what we're talking about here. 25 seconds. 
they can still win this round if they just defend this bomb site. But now the bomb is being brought back and they will have time. It's about 17 and a half seconds or something uh, if you're top mid in towards planning. Maybe a little bit less even. Um, so, yeah. Oof. Oh, all right. It's looking like a third map, Andrews, because uh, Fnatic are broke. Just like flat, flat broke. No oh money. Oh dear, you're right. There's no money here. Just, uh, and that's JW just getting caught. Yeah. I don't even... I, that didn't even look like it was particularly accurate or anything from Shush, but I guess... Tech nines for you, man. Yeah. They've never changed, right? It still just looks ridiculous when they, when they hit headshots with those. Like, where are these bullets even going? And yet, somehow... I think they should, they should re-up it to 32 bullets, though. Yeah, I agree. The fun was in clicking a lot. Just bring it back. Actually, let you put it on scroll wheel as well. You exactly. know, so you can just... <laughs> just keep going. Infinite. F 15 to 11. My God. This is um, that's a bit of a different feel to it. Mad Lions need to win one out of the next four rounds, and they'll put us onto Overpass, the deciding matchup here, the deciding map in this best of three. Fnatic have looked um, a bit shaken on this map. Now they're down to pistols, so... Questionable if they can uh, actually mount a defense with not that much. And yes, I I completely understand what they're doing here. This is rolling the dice, saying let's let's throw a smoke, let's pretend, go A, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brolan. I was thinking for a second, but uh, those nades, man, just so effective. And it is, yeah, just the full on. Gamble coming in here from Fnatic. Only issue is is that Mad Lions right now, yeah, they're going to be moving on up here towards top banana. They're going to realize, okay, uh, no nades. We have full banana control now. And if there are no nades to stop us, we get to just pummel you, don't we? Yeah, Golden walking into that HE as well. He's going to tag him up a little bit. But again, he's just looking for a shot. He just needs to... You know, any kind of sound or anything like that, he just needs the timing for it. And, and he, he's going to want to go... They are going to put up another couple of smokes down here, and I don't think this time it's anything like a fake. I think they're going to fully commit to it. So it's on Golden to be more than just a hero in this one. This is almost impossible for him to do anything with, and especially now. So, I don't know. They don't have a kit. They have a couple of grenades and Mad Lions. They're being so careful. They're molotoving the entire site. They're putting down the smokes. They're really making sure that nothing is left to chance, and I really respect that. It's so important to do in these games when you're this close. Crims hoping to try and see if he can stop the plant, but that's not really quite going to happen. It is going to go down, and it's five versus three, and I think the Danes have found a way here to make it onto that third map, and that would be spectacular. Uh, first map was amazing and really close. This one a little bit less close, but still could have been Fnatic maybe walking away with it too. Flusher trying to find it at the back line here, but there is really nothing left to be done at this point in time. Top of the scoreboard right now, Shusha 26 kills and a 16 to 11 scoreline at the end in favor of Mad Lions for the second map, putting us on the third, which will be on overpass. Yeah, what a fight for Mad Lions. That showed some true grit on their behalf. And Shush, you got to give it to him, man. Star performance from him on Mad Lions yeah. uh, in this second map. He just locked down that A side in the first half and never really stopped. 